Hello, my name is Orin from CompuMatter, and today I'm going to do a product review on a program called LibreOffice, an open source and free program alternative to Microsoft Office, Word, Excel, PowerPoint, those sort of programs. And as you can see here, this is their official website. But first of all, it being free is such a huge feature in comparison to Microsoft Office. And the reason for that is the latest version now, it's $150 for a one-time fee if you want just Word, Excel, and PowerPoint to be installed on your desktop. You can use Office for free if you use the online edition, but most people don't like to do that. So if I click on Get Microsoft 365, the most common thing people do is they get an annual subscription. And even then, that's still $70 a year. You do get a terabyte of OneDrive storage as well as access to Outlook and a couple of other things that might be beneficial. But ultimately, if you're just doing a little bit of document editing, maybe some spreadsheet work, LibreOffice might be a great tool for you. The other reason it might be a fantastic tool is if you know people that use Office, it doesn't really matter if they send you doc files that are the same format as Word or Excel because LibreOffice can open them as well as save them as Word or Excel document file formats. For example, here's the program right here and you can see that there's a writer document program that's basically the equivalent of Word, Calc Spreadsheet is the equivalent of Excel, and so on. So in here, if you navigate up to Tools in LibreOffice and go down to Options, there's a little area that says Load slash Save. I'm going to hit the plus sign, go to General. And I can see Default File Format and ODF settings. And you can set it so that every text document, instead of being saved as ODF, which is the LibreOffice default, you can change it to Word 2007 to 365, which is a .docx format. Hit apply, and you can do that for all the different types. So for example, I'm gonna go down to spreadsheet and then XLSX. And that's just one of the many things that LibreOffice does to make it a lot easier for you to use just basic document editing. And it looks fundamentally the same, all for free. So I just wanted to share this tool with you really briefly, and you're welcome to go on their official website, which is right here on the top, and check it out for yourself. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you enjoyed this brief little product review on LibreOffice. Have a good one.